Alrighty, cool. Pretty moon there. Well, hello there. Here we are on Saturday, August 29th, 2020 at 7.48 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And we have a very pretty white moon rising over there in the southeast sky. And we are in that Tamron 150 to 600 lens, but we have two teleconverters on there. And we're at the 150 times whatever all that is. Let me get that information off the screen. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We're at the 600 plus whatever the teleconverters are. If I remember right, that was 1680 maybe. Okay, and there we have the 5X focus zoom. We'll try to go around here if my handset will play nice. And I may have to sharpen this in Final Cut Pro if I remember to. I just normally don't mess with the footage too much. Yeah, my hand sits here giving me problems. But let's go down and we'll try this at the 30x. <laughs> Which will look quite mushy. And of course it's going to be one issue after another. One thing not working or another. Okay, so yeah. That is not going to work out at all at 30x. Not with both teleconverters on there. That looks horrible. Boy, Cannon, you really needed to put a 15x in here or a 10x. Because this 30 is just so unusable. Yeah, my up and down arrow keys on the SynScan handset are playing up yet again. And Frack, I've used your advice of smacking this thing. But it ain't working. <laughs> yeah, the moon's almost totally in the tree now, so that's about the only test we'll be able to do here. Drat. Sure is pretty to the eye with the blue backdrop and the trees and it's still so light outside and it'll take a little bit before it jumps above those trees so maybe I'll wait it out and try again in a bit. All right, bye now. Okay, we're back out, and we did take off the 1.4x, so we're at the 2x now, at 150 times 2. And so there we are at 1200, and at our 5x. And again, the 5X looks pretty good here. And the awful 30X. <laughs> Alright, so... Whack and it did help a bit, Frack. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna 
go up and around. It's not going to be worth it. Okay, so maybe I will. <laughs> Yeah, so this is not going to work out. Not using the 30. I might be able to get away with it without any teleconverters, but. Okay, and we're back down to 1200. 600 times 2. No focusing zoom. <laughs> Alright, one more test. I have to stop and redo. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. We have the 1.4x Kenko teleconverter. We're at 150. And up to 600 times at 1.5. There we got the 5x. Let me take the information off. Okay, there we go. So we're at the 5x with the 1.4 teleconverter. And the bottom's still in the trees. Alright, so we'll stroll around with the mushy stuff. <laughs> Looks terrible. But not near as bad as the other two. I'd have to check my notes to figure out what we're at. I think, uh, if I recall, we're at 25,200. And the moon is pretty low. It's uh, still rising over in the southeast. It's probably up about 15 degrees above the horizon by now. Okay, got lost there, trying to find our mesa. <laughs> and our grainy question mark. Alright, let's finish this up. So again, I don't know how usable this will be once we get in. And process it, but we'll give it a go. So again, I am liking the 5X. And what I should probably try to do in Final Cut Pro is uh, try to zoom in this image here instead of using that focusing zoom that worthless 30x <laughs> and maybe we will
brighten things up to more what they are out here. The clouds around the moon are quite pink. Well, an orangey pink. Okay, since we're doing all these tests, we might as well do it with no teleconverters, so I'll be right back. It is now 8.14 p.m. Alrighty, and here we are just with the Tamron 150 to 600 lens at 150. And at 600. And here we are at the 5X focus zoom. And a really bad 30X with no teleconverters. Well, that's interesting. This one might be able to be rescued in Final Cut. I don't know though. <laughs> Just out here it looks uh, pretty awful. And since I no longer have the Canon R camera, which has the 5 to 10x, I can't check. We might be able to get away with the 1.4x teleconverter and the 5x focus zoom on the Canon camera. And for those that don't know, I'm on the Canon RA, it's an astro camera. And so, our lovely moon is about to go back into that tree over there. And I need to double check. Um, okay, so the moon is 90% illuminated according to the Sky Safari Pro app. And we are back down to 150 on the Tamron lens. Now Jupiter and Saturn have already risen. They're to the right of the moon somewhere in those trees. But I'm going to have so much footage to go through. With all this testing, I may just uh, pass them on by tonight. We're lucky to get anything after all those storms barreled through. <laughs> so I hope if you got hit by any storms that you're all safe and there's no damage. And that you all have a wonderful weekend ahead here. Okay, it's 8.23 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. We'll try to put all this together and see how it comes out. No guarantees, mind you. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye from Ohio. Mosquito bugger off. Man.